Welcome to the ZebraZap Systems Portal introduction. The ZebraZap System Portal is the home base for viewing, creating, publishing, and managing all of your ZebraZap's content. This tutorial will highlight the main sections of the portal for ZebraZap's developers. The middle area of the screen is now displaying the public app shop. The apps displayed here are either published for free or for a determined amount. Each app has its own icon and when rolled over will display information about that app. This button is either free or has an amount on it. To collect this app, just click it. For more details on the app, click the details link. The app will then open in the viewing window if it's free. This is a fully functioning app and can be interacted with in the viewing window. Each app has a zebra watermark which allows you to open up and control audio, sharing links to this app, open in a new window, or expand to full screen. Scrolling down we get information on who the author is, what category this was published to, some developer notes on and description of the application, some screenshots of the application. In addition, the app sharing area allows the published app to be shared based on the developer's published sharing settings. And finally, we have the ability to make comments and also rate the particular app. Let's go back to the App Shop window. There is another button called Gadget Shop. Now gadgets are for developers only and a gadget is a shareable published object or group of objects that can be embedded into a developer's project. These gadgets can be very small like a single use object. For instance, here we have a dynamic pie chart that has inputs or we can have questions or complete interactive templates. We will discuss gadget details in a following tutorial. Now let's go over and log into our account. This opens the account panel and we'll start at the top of the account panel. If somebody has sent you a project, this button takes you to the Receive Projects panel. We'll open up the Receives Project panel and we can click on the projects we want to accept and they will be transferred to our account. Click the My Stuff tab to move back to the account panel. Below is the My Projects area. The five most recently worked on projects are shown here for quick links. We can just click here and that will launch that particular project. Or we can click the View All button and now we have all of my projects displayed in the center of the portal. Each project has some details about that project. If I wanted to edit the project, I just click Edit. I can click history to see a history of all my saves and all the auto saves done on that particular project. I can send this project to another account user. I can unpublish it if it's been published. I can also delete that project. Continuing on, I can see what type of project this was created in. Was this a pro project with multiple events or was it a creator project with a single event? It also shows the last time saved and the last published. Now I can also get some additional details on the last time this was published by clicking that drop down tab and it'll show some additional information about that published app. We're going to skip the create a new project button for now and go to the my app collection. Again, what this does is shows you all the apps, all the published apps that you've either collected that have been published by another person or that you've published yourself to your account. 
Now again, these are quick links to the most recent collected or published apps, or I can click the view all and see pages of the apps that I've collected or published. The last thing we'll take a look at is the My Gadget collection. And similar to the My App collection, these are all gadgets that you've either collected into your account or that you've published uh, privately to your account. To create a new project, you'd select the Create a New Project button. This will open up the editor in a new browser window. For help on all the different features and functions of Zebra's apps, click here. For additional information or to contact our support with any questions you have, feel free to email us at support.zebrasapps.com. This concludes the tutorial on the Zebra's App Systems Portal.